Ian and Lauren, you are finally here after months of long and careful preparation. Though in a sense, your entire lives have been leading up to this point. Your parents have known one another and been close friends since before either one of you were born. It feels like the most important day of my life. I'd run into Lauren a lot throughout my life, just kind of at random events because our dads were like best friends doing triathlons, so I knew who Lauren was, but I never actually really talked to her. So I was going to Giuseppe's in Frostburg, which is where we always go for like my fond birthdays. I just thought I would invite Tom and Diane because Tom had always called me in college and asked how I was doing, things like that, so I thought he would be a good person to have just come and hang out. So I invited him and I invited his wife, Diane, and they brought Lauren as well, fatefully. to go to UNO's on this special date um, one night, it was about two summers ago, and Ian decided to bring the kayaks and thought it would be a great idea to go kayaking across Deep Creek Lake over to UNO's to have a nice dinner. So we decided to just go in one kayak and we were had a little speaker strapped to the front of the kayak and we just sailed across. But it was like UNO's. a one person kayak. Yeah, it was so not. <laughs> we, we were, were like almost like sinking it water. with this music playing, blasting from the speaker that Charged I had strapped to the top. So yes. we had a great uh, dinner and then we decided to have a nice romantic walk back to the truck because we didn't think that it was going to be a good idea to um, try to make the voyage back across the lake since we didn't have any lights or anything on our kayak. <laughs> so <laughs> we walked about uh, two and a half miles back to the truck on in, dangerous winding roads yeah, and, on the highway. at night. And then Ian um, remembered that he forgot his truck keys. <laughs> so... I, le I had left them in the kayak. We were at the state park on the other side of Uno's. And so then I had to awkwardly go down and ask the uh, DNR person there if they could give me a ride back over to Uno's. <laughs> so I got to go in the DNR boat and they had to shoot me back across the Uno's and I got the keys, I felt really stupid. So it was kind of like the worst date, possibly. It, was a it went horribly wrong. Nice night that turned kind of um, long and then it's a great memory looking back. But I was two and a half and Lauren was just a few weeks old. Um, my mom had us both napping in the same room. She came in to check on us, and I had picked Lauren up out of the crib, put her on the floor, and took all her clothes off, and I was changing her diaper. <laughs> <laughs> um, to this day, no one knows how I picked her up, but I have a two-year-old, and the way she picks up my cat, I'm kind of worried. <laughs> we haven't always really seen eye to eye and everything, but over the last few years, I feel like she's become my best friend. She's the first person I call or text. I buy a new rug or dress. She's the only person I can send a picture of my new front door color to, and she'll be as excited as I am about it. I always know you'll have my back, and I hope you feel the same way about me. I'm so proud of the woman you've become. You're such a caring, honest, eternal person, and I'm so happy you found someone I really confident in. It's so crazy for me to think back to all the times we had with the McMahons 
and realize that Ian was there all along. But Ian and I are less than a year apart. Um, we've pretty much grown up with each other since we've been in diapers. Um, we've been roommates with each other at every family reunion, I think. So we've been through a lot. Um, it's, it's truly an honor to have been standing up there with you today. I'm glad you asked me to be your best man. Whatever Ian Phillips' dad says, you don't have to get up early when you're at the beach to go for a run, right? You can sleep. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> Mary, one of the greatest guys I know. Married into one of the greatest families I know. Um, it couldn't be happier for the two of you. Before we toast to Ian and Lauren, I wanted to do something a little unconventional. And uh, as much as I love you, Ian, uh, there's someone else who has been uh, through everything with you. Uh, so I'm going to hand it off to Lauren and have her give a few words here.
pocket watches? You said that our love that energy is going to be very close happened then was that I kind of felt like, well, I was kind of toying with a lot of different, more extravagant ideas, but then I think I just felt like, it came to a point where I just felt like I needed to ask Lauren immediately. So I decided I was going to ask her like this one evening, and I wanted to do it at her house. And um, so I went up to Lauren's house and I had the ring, and I was kind of in sweatpants. and. <laughs> Wasn't, it wasn't, I didn't really dress well for the occasion, I guess, but I was comfortable, and you were in your sweatpants too. So I was like, Diane, I'm gonna ask Lauren to marry me. Do you wanna peek out of the bottom of like the basement thing? And she's like, ah, oh my gosh, yes. So then I was like, Lauren, I have to show you something out by the pond, because Lauren lives on like this little gem in the middle of New Jersey State Park with a pond and everything. It's like the most picturesque place ever. And so that was part of the reason I wanted to do it there because I just, it's beautiful and it has a lot to do with our history. So anyways, I took her out by the pond and I think I distracted you. And then I told you to look at a fish in the water and then when you turned back, I was down on one knee. And so I asked her to marry me then. So anyways, that night we went to Giuseppe's to celebrate just Lauren and I. I and I also, oh yeah, she said yes.
gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. My beloved speaks to me and says to me, Arise, my love, my beautiful one, and come away. For behold, the winter is past, the rain is almost over and gone. <laughs> the God who created you created marriage. By his design, marriage is meant to manifest to the world the love of God revealed to us through his son, Jesus Christ. Ian is not here today because he got lost leaping over the hills of this park in the middle of a 10K run and stopped to ask for directions. Lauren has not been waiting in this beautiful dress for days upon days for some young man to come by and knock on her door asking for directions. Love is a deliberate choice. And so you've known one another casually since your earliest memories, though it is only more recently that the two of you began to realize that you desired this friendship to be something a little more. I ask you now to give voice to your covenant by repeating after me. I, Ian Philip MacFawn, I, Ian Philip MacFawn, take you Lauren Grace Rucker, Take you, Lauren Grace Rucker. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Lauren Grace Rucker. I, Lauren Grace Rucker. Take you, Ian Philip McFawn. Take you, Ian Philip McFawn. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. And I do promise and covenant before God and these witnesses. And I do promise and covenant before <laughs> God and these witnesses. To be your faithful, loving, and devoted husband. To be your faithful, loving, and devoted husband. Plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In sunshine and in rain. In sunshine and in rain. As long as we both shall live. As, as long, long as we, we both shall live. live. By the authority committed to me as a minister of the church, of Jesus Christ. I hereby declare that Ian McFawn and Lauren Ruckert are now husband and wife, whom God has joined together. Let no one, no one put asunder. You may now kiss your brother. <laughs> It is my privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Ian McFall.
We can make oh, wait, it look wait, like wait, it wait, did. Wait, 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 wait. That time I didn't have the key turned. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It'll work this time. 